You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and white sports fans, let's go over to the NBA and talk about LeBron James. Yes, yeah, LaChana James. We're going to be talking about him yet again because a former teammate of one LeBron James has come out and he's pretty much, you know, ripped LeBron James for going to Miami. And this player is Iman Shumpert, who won an NBA title with LeBron James back in 2016 when the Cavaliers defeated the Golden State Warriors, the defending champs, came back from a 3-1 deficit. And I remember for the longest time, the 3-1 uh, deficit um, means were all out there on the Golden State Warriors. However, he was on a, a podcast, I believe, and they were talking about who ruined the NBA when it came to all of these super teams. Now, I don't mind super teams if they're organic. I don't believe that... Um, NBA players should be colluding together, trying to win titles. It really does kind of devalue the titles, if you ask me. Now, if you look at the Bulls, the Bulls are pretty much, you know, their core was all drafted by the team. Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan drafted by the team. Michael Jordan was not trying to jump ship and go to another team. He wasn't trying to team up with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. No, he wanted to beat those guys, you know. Same thing with Magic. He didn't want to team up with Larry Bird. Larry Bird didn't want to team up with Magic. Him and Magic are really, really good friends, but there was no way in hell they wanted to team up together to win titles. It really would have just devalued uh, NBA titles, if you ask me. Now, some people already criticize LeBron James. He has four NBA titles. He already gets a lot of flack about the, um, the bubble title and also his two titles in Miami. To some people... His only real first title came when he went to went back to Cleveland and won that title in 2016, which Iman Shumpert was on. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this, guys. Iman Shumpert, LeBron James, quote, knows he ruined basketball. Wow, that is some strong words coming from a former teammate when LeBron James, who is an all time great talent. Iman Shumper comes out and says that he ruined basketball. He ruined the NBA. Now, he's not talking about the wokeness or anything like that. He's talking about the moves LeBron James has made in his NBA career. Now, on this channel, we criticize LeBron James mainly because of all the social justice lies out there. But Iman Shumper is talking about strictly on the basketball court. Let's read this. During a recent appearance on the bootleg Kev podcast, former Cavs guard Iman Shumpert admitted he believes LeBron James ruined basketball. After the host suggested that Kevin Durant ruined basketball by jumping from OKC to the Bay in 2016, Shumpert responded that LeBron was the one who did it first. And he's absolutely right about that. Yes, uh, Kevin Durant did jump, jump a ship to uh, Golden State. Now to me, Kevin Durant going to Golden State was worse than LeBron James going to Miami. Now, keep in mind, Miami Heat, they were pretty much, you know, a first round exit on missing the playoffs before LeBron James got there. Yes, they had Dwayne Wade. That's true. But everybody knew that the league would kind of become a joke. And we knew that the the uh, Miami Heat would probably win some titles with LeBron James, with um, Dwayne Wade and with uh, Chris Bosh. And he did. They won two titles in four years. Now, Kevin Durant going to Golden State, it just made the league a complete joke. Golden State had just won a title and then they lost in the finals to uh, Iman Shumpert and uh, LeBron James. And they already had three All-Stars on that team. And Kevin Durant going to that team just made a joke. So Iman Shumpert, I believe, is right in that LeBron James did it first. He orchestrated these players jumping the teams and trying to form super teams. This is uh, what he said here in response uh, to the, uh, the podcast host quote, it wasn't KD. It was LeBron first going to Miami. Shumpert explained, adding quote, LeBron knows he ruined basketball. That's his words, man. And he's right about that. 
He's absolutely right. Let's actually listen to his words so you don't have to take my word for it. This is him saying it here. Either way, it ruined basketball. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. It wasn't KD. It was Braun first going to Miami. Braun knows he ruined you, basketball. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you think that was... I always look at the Braun first... Braun ruined basketball. See, he, he, he didn't say it just once. He said it twice in 11 seconds. LeBron ruined basketball. He's right about that. And we can add on to that, you know, with all the social justice stuff, him declining the ratings. I mean, LeBron James is a horrible human being, but also pretty weak minded. He couldn't get it done in Cleveland. And I've always give, given him credit for bringing that awful Cavs team in 2007 to the NBA Finals. But he jumped ship in the middle of his prime. Can you imagine Hakeem? Uh, Tim Duncan, Michael Jordan, David Robinson in the middle of their primes jumping ship because they couldn't win a title. I just can't imagine that happening. I mean, it, it took Hakeem. Hakeem won the, his first two titles in his uh, 10th year. Michael Jordan, it took him 84 to uh, he won in his eighth year, if I'm not mistaken, his first title. David Robinson was pretty loyal. David Robinson did not jump ship from the Spurs. Tim, Dun Tim Duncan got there and he did win some titles. LeBron James left in the prime of his career and he engineered these players colluding together to win titles. And it really, really kind of devalues NBA titles in a way to me. Now, this isn't like LeBron James is some bum, you know, journeyman jumping ship to ship. No, he's the best player on the team. And he's jumping ship and other players are seeing that and it's been replicated. And Kevin Durant, what Kevin Durant did was worse. But there's no doubt about it, guys, that LeBron James really did do this thing first. He says, quote, he thought he was making it better. Shump continued. I get it. Me personally, I love the NBA for the loyalty that I thought was was uh, here. He basically knocked the fourth wall down. Shumper, who won a ring with um, James. James Cavaliers 2016 sent NBA Twitter abla ablaze with his comments, but the former Nick defended himself on Tuesday. One user said that super teams existed before King James took his talents to South Beach, to which Shumpert responded, quote, find me the year the top player left his throne and joined someone else. He's right about that. You cannot find that. You really cannot find that, guys. Um, explaining closest thing was Shaq, but uh, Bids had to pair up and Kobe was the juice. LeBron had no need and had all the influence. I can debate this all day. Shumpert is right on the money with this, because uh, if you look here, talking about um, LeBron uh, created super teams. What's the difference here, folks? What is the difference right here? OK, Magic Johnson was drafted by the Lakers. James Worthy was drafted by the Lakers. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, guess what? He was traded to the Lakers. Traded. Same thing with um, the Boston Celtics, bit three in 2008, won the title. Ray Allen traded to the Celtics. Kevin Durant traded to the Celtics. And Kevin Durant did not want to go to the Celtics. He had to be talked into uh, joining um, forces uh, with, um, with Paul Pierce and um, Ray Allen. Now, right here... These players here with the Rockets, Hakeem, uh, Barkley, Scottie Pippen, not in their primes anymore. Not in their primes. Hakeem still was there. Barkley was on the way down. Phil Jackson and um, the Lakers 2004. Carl Malone and Gary Payton were at the end of their careers. They, were, they weren't in their primes anymore. This is ridiculous. And whoever tweeted this out, yeah, super teams. And then at that, you know, not a super team, the Rockets, they didn't win. Uh, this Lakers team, not a super team. They didn't win. I mean, this is ridiculous, guys. But what do you think of this? What do you guys think about Iman Shumpert coming out and saying that LeBron James ruined basketball? And he said LeBron James knows that he ruined, ruined, ruined basketball. Do you guys, guys agree with this? Did LeBron James, LaChina James, did he ruin basketball? I'm pretty sure I know where you guys stand. I don't like this super team era here. I like super teams getting built. So the way the Golden State Warriors made it happen before Kevin Durant, they built that. That's the way I like to see, see teams 
actually get made. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.